All right, it's Chris with Never Enough Outdoors, and I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about mobile antennas for your scanner. Um, this is my BCD 436 HP. It's the only scanner I use currently. I've had some analog scanners in the past, and I've still got them, but I just rarely use them. Sometimes I'll use them for airplanes and different things that are analog, but I use this scanner everywhere I go. I put it in the car, I put it in the truck or in my work truck or I put it in my office it hangs on the wall sometimes I'll listen to it at home but I have antennas all over the place some are stationary some are mounted to the roof some are uh, mounted to the roof of my vehicle or the roof of the house or in the attic of the house or in the attic of my office but I have some mobile antennas the one that came with it I couldn't tell you where it's at because it's a piece of junk um, but I have two antennas here that I wanted to show you real quick. Um, for both of them, I have added BNC connectors, which is this thing on the end here. Um, that when you buy the scanner, it doesn't come set up for this. It may come with this, I don't remember, but it comes with this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a spin-on connector where you have to spin your antennas on. And it's a headache when you're in the vehicle trying to spin on antennas. It takes forever to get them on and off and it's just a headache um, but I bought this or already had it this is a BNC connector and you just spin it on and then you make sure you get BNC connectors for your antennas and I have them on both of these I've got it on every antenna I've used I have this BNC connector which is just the piece on the end and it allows you to quickly connect an antenna to a scanner I can just that, that quick and it's on and then that quick and it's off I can put on another one so that's nice um, these two antennas I have the long one is a diamond antenna it's the SRH 77 CA um, I don't know if I bought it with the BNC connector on it or if I added it later you can buy a big pack of these uh, connectors like 10 of them or whatever for a cheap price so um, that's probably what I did I remember doing it but I've got a diamond um, SRH 77 CA and it's for for to me I don't know the specs on these but this is more of an analog antenna in my opinion it's long it's about 18 inches long it's not really in the way I don't wear it on my side sometimes I'll leave it connected when I'm in the vehicle um, but this is usually like when I go out of town if I'm sitting in a hotel room I'll hook up the Santana or the other one I have but this one gets you in my opinion better analog signals um, it picks up analog frequencies better and that when I say analog for me that's um, airplanes a lot of police that are still analog um, you know uh, all kinds of uh, DNR that are still analog uh, all kinds of places but whoever uses analog signals this is this picks up better it will pick up P25 but it's not as good it's hard to buy an antenna that does everything a lot of them are more specific to different needs so that's what I use for analog and then this is the Rimtronics. Uh, well, there's like three different uh, models. Um, and again, I don't remember if I bought it with or without the BNC connector, but like I said, that's what I use. Um, but there's, there's three different models and I don't know, there's one that's kind of out there on its own. I think it includes this rubber grommet is the only difference. And then there's one that comes without the grommet and then one that comes with the BNC. It doesn't matter, they're all the same. It's just however you connect it to your scanner. But I have this one, and this one works better for P25 digital type stuff versus analog. It'll pick up analog, but it works better for digital, especially compared to the diamond. Now there's thousands of antennas out there. You can do your research and figure out which one works best for you, but I, I know this is a very popular one, the Rimtronics. It's much better than the one that comes with it, the rubber ducky, they call it. And if you listen to a lot of analog um, 
this one's great. It's kind of long, but it works good. Um, I would say if you're looking for a better antenna than the one that comes with the scanner, go with the Rimtronics. It is pretty much all around great. But like I said, it does not do analog as good as this one. So if you're going to listen to a lot of airplanes or different air-to-air -air control towers, different analog signals that are still out there today, I would go with something like this. There's other brands, there's all kinds to look at, but this is just the one I picked and I wanted to show it to you. Um, I wanted to throw in another bonus feature that I think is pretty cool that I bought one day for this. And that's this thing. It's an MPOW. I'm not sure the actual brand name, but it you can get them on Amazon and it doesn't look like this all the time. It looks like this. And this is a Bluetooth transmitter slash receiver and it comes with different parts but you basically if you have a device like this scanner that's not bluetooth i can plug this into it and then connect this to my vehicle or my phone or bluetooth headphones or whatever i want and that will transfer the sound to that uh, Bluetooth device. You can also, if you had a Bluetooth device and you needed to run it to speakers or something, you could plug this into the speakers input and go Bluetooth to this. But for me, I use it right here. And this is just in the case I don't have a cord and I want to run it to the Bluetooth in the vehicle or a Bluetooth headset. That works great. I just want to throw that in. Um, you can get them off Amazon, just Google or something. The a Bluetooth transmitter receiver or whatever, but that's MPOW is what I use and it, it works great. That That's all. I've got a few more antennas and I might do a um, antenna, like an external antenna video one day and show you the other antennas I have that I use for different circumstances. The problem is they're all mounted somewhere, so I'd have to get to them and one, like I said, is in the attic. So, um, but please Check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.